Hello everyone and welcome back for another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this episode we'll be covering how to create your own custom tooltips and these can be used for any kind of widget based uh, gameplay or systems, anything you like and um, it handles a lot of the background stuff a lot easier for you. So let's get cracking. So for this uh, today I have made a fake inventory system. Uh, fake by means that it shows an inventory screen and close inventory screen and I can go on to the buttons here and use the item and go back to game and so forth and so forth and so forth. So it's all fake, it's just an image uh, that disappears. So, But the general gist is that the widget is there and we'll be using it just, we're just showcasing the tooltip. If you want to know how to do inventory stuff, I've got a whole series on that. This is just a sort of extra bit of how to make tooltips better. Okay, so tooltips. So for this we need to make our own custom tooltip widget. So I've already made my new widget blueprint. I'm going to open this up. And you'll get this at the start, a canvas panel, which we don't want. So delete your canvas panel. And instead we're going to use a size box. And the size box is going to have a minimum desired width and minimum height. And we'll do a minimum desired width of 150 and a height of uh, 150. Let's change the desired width actually to 300. There we go. Hit compile, and then what we're going to do is we can change it from fill screen up here to desired, and that will show us roughly the minimum starting size of your tooltip. So inside your tooltip, we're going to have a border, and that border we're going to change uh, a few things here. We're going to change its color, and I've already picked the color. But you choose whatever you like and here we are next we're going to do a horizontal box and this horizontal box is going to store an icon for the thumbnail so an image so drag an image into it and then we're going to drag in a vertical box inside that vertical box we're going to have two text fields so one and Okay, so, um, sorry, into your text field, there you go. So this is the starting point for our tooltip. We've got a border, which is just doing the color. Horizontal box, which is organizing our items horizontally. That's the thumbnail and then the details. And in the details section, we've got two areas. We've got the name and the description. So let's sort this out a little bit. So on the icon, I'm going to rename this one to item thumbnail. And we're going to go to where it says, uh, change it from auto, uh, sorry, the horizontal alignment to left, not fill, and vertical alignment to middle, not fill. And on the appearance, we're going to open up the brush and change the image size here to 128 by 128. That's the size of my thumbnails. Next, we're going to go to our text here. So my text, I'm going to change my top one here to say item name and we're going to change its actual name of it to item name text and we're going to tick its variable. Next one we're going to change to item description text again is a variable and we'll just put some basic uh, placeholder text here. I'm going to change the font of that one to be a smaller size. So I'm going to change it to, say, 14 and change from bold to regular. So you need to make things is variable true for things that are going to change uh, throughout the game. So the name, description, and image are all going to change. So these all need to be is variable. Okay. Next, let's fix some padding issues we've got going on here. So go to my border and we're going to give it a uniform pad padding around all of its content. So here, we're going to put in a padding of say 10 and then on my vertical box here uh, and the padding at top for the horizontal box slot on the uh, left we're going to do 20 give a little gap between the thumbnail and our uh, text here and I've just noticed my text are the wrong way around simple fix just swap them around like that okay so that's our thumbnail pretty much set up okay so we can close that for now. 
Next is the job of getting it actually to show up on the screen. So for that, we need to go to our item slot UI. So the way I've got it set up is there's an item slot UI. And inside my inventory window, I have multiple of those slots throughout. And then I have that all displayed in a HUD head up display widget. Okay. So as you can see, inventory, I've already pre-filled one of my slots here with some information name, description, and an image. So what we want to do is make it so when we hover over the slot, show a thumb, uh, show the widget for our tooltip. So for that, let's go to our item slot UI, go down to where it says border, and the border is, ho uh, is covering the whole entire thing, so that makes sense for your mouse to cover this. So go to the right hand side details panel and find your behavior section. In the behavior section, if you expand open the bottom arrow, it will show advanced, you'll see tooltip widget and a space for you to insert and tie it to a widget. So let's create the widget to this slot. Go to your graph and on the construct, we're going to create widget and we're gonna choose our tooltip from the options. And then from the tooltip, we're going to return value promote to variable. And this is going to be the tooltip for the item. Item tooltip. We're not going to add it to viewport or anything like that. We're just going to create it. So now, back in my design view, with the border selected, I can go down to behavior, tooltip widget, click on bind, and you should see item tooltip is one of the options for this. Now, we're not going to bind it like so, because if we did that, then the tooltip will show up and won't change any details about it. It'll just show it. So what we're going to do is create a new function binding. To do that, click on create binding. And you get this function binding come up. The function binding has return value for a widget. So we need to make changes to our item tooltip here and plug it back into return value here. So to keep it simple, let's drag out our item tooltip. Then from there we're going to get the item name text. That gets the text widget. And we're going to set the text for this. text to the item details that we have in our slot. So I'm going to drag in my item details, which is our struct. So I'm going to split that and drag item name into it. I'm then going to do it again for the rest of them. So get item description text, set text, into the description. Lastly, we've got thumbnail. Get item thumbnail. Set brush from texture. And plug that into the thumbnail like so. Now finally, we need to return back out the item tooltip. So drag that item tooltip out and plug it back in. So that's going to change all those settings on the widget. However, the widget still won't change. So let's demonstrate that in action. So this has now got that binding. Double check by going over to tooltip widget and you should see get tooltip widget underscore zero. You can rename that, but we'll move on. So now let's test this out. We'll go back into the game, push play. Go into inventory. Hover over, you see the tooltips appearing, and you see the one appearing for a diamond spring. And if I click on that, it will disappear. And if I go back over, you see the tooltip has reverted back to blank. So a few things we need to do here to fix this to make it perfect. Uh, first of all, let's make it so that it doesn't show a tooltip if there's nothing in the slot. And secondly, let's make it so it updates a tooltip as the item is removed. So for example, when I click, it still stays there. That doesn't make much sense. We want to get rid of it. So let's do that. So let's go into my item slot and go to my graph. So on get tooltip widget function, when we're getting all the details and setting the details to the tooltip, in here we want to check if there's actually any details to actually add. So drag your item details out, get, and then from that we're going to split and get just the, let's say the thumbnail, for example. 
we can do a validated get or is valid for this i.e. that basically means um, is there a thumbnail if there is a thumbnail great carry on do as we do if there isn't one then what we're going to do is we're going to drag item tooltip out get and then set the visibility of it to collapsed is not valid and then we can connect the rest of this up to the return node like so so let's check that out now as you see the tooltip doesn't arrive or appear rather for any of these until I get this one and you see it shows up again only shows up for the one that's got a slot in it but again if I click on it it doesn't update so let's uh, fix that last bug so to do that we need to go into our item slot UI and into the graph so this get tooltip widget uh, function that we've bound is basically updating the widget whether it should be there or not as well so we need a way to call this when we wanted to call it so we go to on mouse button and this is what I've got happening here it's basically all it's doing is wiping all the details from it and not telling it to update itself alongside updating it I also want to update the tooltip basically I want to call this function however you see this is a little green F rather than a blue F and if I drag it out I get this one out so that's no good to me because I need to call it so I can't call this because I need an executor going into it now why is that green and not blue now it's green because it's a pure function pure functions just return values so what we need to do is remove that go back to your get tooltip widget click on the source block this one here and then go to details options and turn off pure now when you compile that and go back to your on mouse button I can now drag that out and get a function that I can execute so I can drag that in plug that in and there you go and that's going to take to update that widget so now when I push play go to my inventory click on the uh, click on the item and there you go it clears the widget as well as emptying the slot and that is it hopefully that's helped you understand how to make your own tooltips um there's loads of things you can do with it as well don't forget there is basically another widget and another blueprint so you can do all sorts of things with it, animations and so forth so be interested to see what you'd want to do with your tooltips if you have any particular questions you want answered leave a comment below plus if you want to get access to more information about how to create what you see right here leave a comment below or go check out my inventory system series where i do something very similar to this if you want access to these project files they will be available to gold patrons so head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan ailey become a gold patron and get access to this project file as well as many many others Thank you so much for all my patrons for supporting me and the channel. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you so much. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.